Snow has already started to fall along the lake shore, and the rest of West Michigan is bracing for more to come. Meteorologist Sarah Flynn in the Tracking Center to break down what we could see and when. Sarah? Yeah, it's going to be a busy couple of days out there. Just a few hours ago, we got an upgrade to some of our warnings. We now do have winter storm warnings going into effect here shortly. Here's a live look. Again, it depends on where you are, but closest to the lakeshore will actually begin at 7 p.m. tonight, so about a half an hour away. But the further inland you go, the longer you're going to wait to see those warnings take shape. The pink there is a winter storm warning. The surrounding area in that purple is a winter weather advisory. So no matter where you are, you're going to see snow. It's just depending on how intense that is going to be. And if you're in Holland, you're already seeing it now. Here's a live look. 33 degrees there right now, so it's likely going to be a bit of a wet snow. A lot of people asking it's sticking to trees and cars out there. That's typically what happens. So here's a check at your latest radar. Again, it's not anything too intense for much of the area. Portions of West Michigan are managing to stay dry, but the closer you get to the lake shore, again, the better chance you do have of seeing snow. There's a live look over Holland and down to the south is where we're seeing some of those heavier snow bands develop. But it'll take time until we see it further inland. Expect scattered snow showers really on and off throughout your late evening and overnight hours as temperatures do fall below that freezing mark into those mid to upper 20s. By the time you're waking up tomorrow morning, we won't see a ton of snow, but definitely going to be patchy in nature. Here's a look at your uh, current model or the closest range one that we currently have going. Again, a very scattered nature thing, but closest to the lakeshore, likely going to see some of those heavier totals. Here's kind of a look of what you can expect over the next. 12 hours or so here further inland, anywhere from about a trace to potentially up to a half of an inch. And again, the lake affects snow closest to the lake shore, anywhere from about one to two inches. So hopefully, it won't slow you down too much tomorrow morning, but that's probably not going to be the case as we head into the future. By Thursday afternoon, we'll see heavy snow bands really building off the lake. It'll continue to push through as a cold front does near our area again Thursday morning into the afternoon. It's going to be pretty persistent and steady, but luckily, our snowfall rates won't be anything too. Too high. We'll likely see three to six inches both on Friday or on Thursday as well as Friday. Finally, as we look ahead to Saturday, those winter weather advisories as well as winter storm warnings will expire. A cold front sweeps through. We'll likely still have some scattered snow showers as we move into Sunday, but it shouldn't be nearly as heavy. And then we'll finally be dry by Sunday afternoon. So here's kind of a look at those totals. Again, most of the area looking at about six to 12 inches, and we will see pockets of about 12 inches. So be prepared for that. Areas north as well as pretty far off to the east towards Lansing, three to six inches, and then surrounding areas anywhere from one to three. So it is going to be a bit busy, but I do want to end on kind of a nice note. If we're looking ahead to Thanksgiving, which is now on our eight day forecast, not looking terrible. Temperatures actually going to warm back up. So it is chilly and snowy here for a couple of days, but if you hold out through Sunday, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Tomorrow, your high will be 34. Again, three to six inches likely throughout the afternoon. Another three to six inches. Just for Grand Rapids throughout the day Friday. It'll taper off slowly Saturday morning, but still be scattered as we push ahead to Sunday. I know a lot of parades going on. And then next week for travel, not looking terrible, we'll be in the 30s, then 40s. And as we look ahead to Thanksgiving, 48 degrees. So not too much to complain about. Again, you just got to hold out for the next couple of days. All right. Sarah, thank you. The Storm Team 8 Winter Outlook debuts tomorrow. This is where our team takes a look at what we can expect this winter. And we'll also open up our new snowfall prediction contest over at woodtv.com. You join us for that tomorrow on News 8 at 6.